Welcome to 2024. War against altars. High five your neighbor, say neighbor. That altar we go down tonight. Prophesy to one person. Say neighbor. Tonight, as you lift your voice in prayer, that altar that's touch your father, that altar that's touch your mother, it will go down tonight. 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 First Corinthians chapter 9 from verse number 9. He says, it is written in the law of Moses, thou shall not muscle an ox while he threads the corn. Is it the oxen that God is concerned about? Or does he say it all together for our sake? For no doubt, this is written that he who plows should plow in hope, and he who threshes in hope should be partaker of his hope. My emphasis tonight is one verse in verse number nine. Everybody read. For it is written in the law of Moses. You shall not muscle the ox while he threads out the grain. Lift up your right and say all tars of my father's house. Let me eat. Say altars of my father's house. Let me eat. Oh, I can't hear your anger. Say altars of my father's house. Leave me, let me eat. Oh, I can't hear you. Say altars of my father's house. Leave me and let me eat. Oh, I found your neighbor said they must leave you today. They will leave you today. They will leave you today. That devil is a liar. They will leave you today. My God. In the story that we read, the Bible says, and Paul began to make reference to a, a commandment that Moses gave in his time. He says, Thou shalt not muscle the ox that threads the corn. Why does the Bible say this? Because on the surface, it seemed as though that God was advocating for the animals. Thou shalt not muscle the ox while he threads the corn. The word muscle, it means to tie the mouth of the oxen. The word muscle means what? To tie the mouth of the oxen. On surface value, when you read this text, it seems as though God was advocating for animals. So it looks as though that God was an animal advocate. But when you read the next verse, Paul says, did God write these things because he was concerned about the animals? So now, at this point, I need to explain to you what is happening here. Back in the day, before the advent of technology, when you want to grind your grain, when you want to grind your wheat, your corn, you take it to a commercial meal. So in those days, the meal was stone on top stone. So there was a bull, an ox that was harnessed to a bull, that was harnessed to a meal. So now the bull begins to move about in a circle using his energy using his strength using his power so as he's moving he begins to move the meal in a circle so when they pour the corn into the meal with the energy of the bull he's able to pulverize the grain when 
when the ball is moving, is able to move with his energy and grind the corn. But watch it. Understand. The Bible says, when the ball is grinding, the owners, when they saw that the bull, every so often, it begins to eat out of the grain. They put a muscle around the bull. Why? They are trying to say, you are permitted to work. You are permitted to labor. But you are not permitted to eat. You are permitted to grind. You are permitted to walk seven to seven, nine to five, but you are not permitted to eat. I want to pray for you. Any power responsible for your labor, look at you laboring, but you have nothing to show. Look at you walking like an elephant, eating like an ant. I prophesy any power that wants you to grind and not eat if you shout a loud amen they go down 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 shot fire yeah 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 amma kabaya hello mama look at this the animal is harnessed to a meal. It is like a circular stone. And the stone is what grinds the corn. So they pour the grain on the stone. And with the energy of the bull, the bull is going about in a circle. Are you seeing the picture? It's moving with the strength in a circle. Grinding the corn. But the owner said, we want your labor. We want your energy. You are going to work till you die. But this thing you are doing now, you will not eat the labor of your hands. I am mama. Esusa Kaya. There are many here. The enemy have let you to labor like a dog. I wish my sound was better. The enemy, they want you to labor until you drop. Just like great grandpa Jim. Just like your grandfather. Just like your mother. But I am here to prophesy. Any power that frustrated your father and is trying to frustrate you. As you lift your voice to shout a loud amen. I pull down that altar. 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 Somebody say altar. Go down. Altar. Go down. Altar. 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 Please follow me. Can you see the bull? Can you see the bull? Laboring in a cycle. Look at him. Energy grinding. 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 All we need for this bull to be settled is for the bull to allow. For the bull to be allowed to eat of the labor of his hands. Are we okay now? Who is grinding the corn? Why is the bull not allowed to eat of the labor of his hands? When Moses first get the commandment, people didn't understand. Paul had to, rego he had to revisit it. He said when God gave this commandment, was he speaking because he cared about the animal or was he not saying it all together <laughs> for our sake did God say it because he was concerned about the animal or did he not say it because of us 
Why is God saying it? Because of us. Because God looks at human race and he's seeing the same evil agenda as it is with the animal. He looks at his children. He looks at his sons. He looks at his daughters. The same way that bull is hindered, not allowed to eat of the labor of his hands. He's look at you. He said, look at my son. Look at my daughter. They don't tie her mouth. They don't tie her mouth so that she will not eat of the labor of her hands. How can you labor? And at the end of the day, you have nothing to show. But the devil is a liar. I am here to tell you, from the beginning, it was not so. In every labor, there is profit. Any power keeping you back from making profit. As you shout, Amen. I break that altar. As you shout, Amen. That altar catch fire. Wherever the altar is, whether your father's house, whether your mother's house, whether in Accra, whether in Kenya, whether in Nigeria, whether in Nairobi, wherever the altar is, whether in Cameroon, whether in Liberia, whether in Mexico, whether in India, whether in Haiti, wherever the altar is, if you shout a loud amen, I release fire. 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 Somebody call a fire three times. Shout. Shout again. We're about to pray. Look at it. Look at it. Look at the oxen. Can you see the oxen? God says, when I see the oxen, I am seeing my people. When I see what this oxen is going through, I see my people. Look at them. Three jobs and a half. Still can't pay bill. Look at them. They are working seven to five. Seven to seven. Still behind on bills. It's not because you're not working. They don't tie your mouth. Imagine for a moment. This oxen is allowed to eat. God says, I approve this kind of labor. A labor that's when you labor. At the end of the day, you are able to say, I have labored and I brought something home. What I don't like is Luke 5 and 5. I toyed all night and I have nothing to show. 12 years in America, nothing to show. 7 years in America, nothing to show. 15 years in America, nothing to show. Graduated top in my class nothing to show i am the firstborn in my family nothing to show i have a green card nothing to show i have a passport nothing to show i am here to prophesy that power behind your frustration that power that wants you to labor with nothing to show if you shout a loud amen i release fire we are about to pray. We are about to pray. The problem that is happening to this animal now. Is what Solomon describes to us as an evil. Somebody says an evil. I have seen an evil under the sun. Ecclesiastes chapter 5. When you read in verse 16. He said there are people on schedule. To exit this world the same way they came. They are on schedule. To exit the world. Naked they came. Naked they are going. They want the altars of their father's house want them to live empty handed. Egaba, he said this is a severe evil. Somebody says severe evil. Come on say severe evil. What is a severe evil? That just exactly as he came, so he goes. It is a terrible evil for a man to come into this world naked he came. 
naked he goes he came born in poverty he dies in poverty he comes in penury he dies in penury touch your neighbor say neighbor this is not evil it is a severe evil for a man to leave this world the same way he came for a man to leave this world exactly as he came I profess that power in your father's house that wants you to go life empty-handed just as you came I profess fire 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 this is a severe evil you came empty you live 99 years and you die empty this is not evil it's a severe evil a severe evil under the sun that a graduate cannot use his graduate certificate he has two masters but it's any minimum wage a severe evil the Anaskaba there are many of you you are dealing with severe evil but this is the end welcome to war against altars 2024 this is Mount Zion and upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance there shall be holiness and the people of God I am here to prophesy by the power of the Holy Ghost and the altar in your father's house causing this evil and the altar in America in Nigeria in Trinidad and Tobago in Haiti in Accra in Mexico in India in Nairobi in Ghana that is causing this evil as you shout a loud amen it will catch fire 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 if we leave this evil if we leave this evil unchecked at the end of the day all your labor will be for the wind if we don't check the altar responsible for this evil it will be like one who labored for the wind all your nine to five your seven to seven three jobs and a half you bring it home you have labored for the wind I labored all night look five and five nothing to show we see the evidence of labor on your head but what is the evidence in your hands but in verse number 9 19 of, of, of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 chapter 5 and 19 we are about to pray Ecclesiastes 9 and, and 9, 5 and 19 he said to every man I like it whom God has given riches and wealth and also gave him power hey! somebody have a power to eat have a power to eat come and say power to eat what many of you need is not a new job what many of you need is not a new house what you need power 
somebody has a power to eat. Oh, you are still seated. Have a power to eat. 2024, you will receive power to eat. Somebody say power to eat. You need power to eat. In this service today, as you begin to pray, any power that has tied your mouth, there is another power coming upon you. It is called the power of the Holy Ghost. It will empower you to eat the leg of your hands. Somebody say power, power. To, succeed. to succeed. Power, power. To, eat. to eat. Power, power. to get what? And I'm here to profess. As you hear the sound of my voice, get ready. For what God is about to do, eyes have not seen. Yes, have not heard. It does not enter the heart of man. What God will do, it shall be good measure. It shall be pressed there. It shall be shaken together. It shall be running over. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can pull you down. God is on your side. Power on your side. Grace is on your side. Power on your side. Power on your side. Power on your side. Power to each. Power to each. Power to each. Power to eat. 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 Somebody have a power to eat. Shout it seven times. Number one. Power to eat. Number two. Power to eat. Number three. Power to eat. Number four. Power to eat. Number five. Power to eat. Number six. Jump up and shout it now. Stand to your feet. That's why we are here. Lord, lose my mouth. All tasks of my father's house. I don't have time. I would have told you that this bond, this, 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 this oxen was not was not born with a rope in his mouth. So we are coming the rope. An enemy has done this. Lift your hands. You will cry out. Listen, listen, listen. This is not Bible study. You didn't come here to be cute. You will cry out. Whatever you need to do. You didn't come here. This, these three days are terrible days. Terrible days. You need to find one corner. Paste the floor. Hold the altar. Roll and do what you got to do. But by all means, you can't be casual. Lift your voice. Say, Father. Father. Oh, I can hear you say, Lord. Lord. Begin to pray. All tears of my foundation that has tied my mouth in the name of Jesus. I pull you down. I pull you down. People of God, open your mouth. Bow, 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 bow,
You don't have to know about gravity, but when you throw it up, what happens? It comes down. Your ignorance of gravity does not hold it up. So please, this next prayer, don't think about it. Pray it as I give it to you. Amaskaba. There are powers that say you cannot eat of the labor of your hands. There are powers that want to keep you in perpetual labor. Can I bring it home? How do you labor in a marriage? for 10 years and the man wakes up one morning talking about i think we need a break you give a man seven years of your life in a relationship and he's talking about i think we, can, we are not getting along that devil is a liar you don't live but seven years how do you raise up children you raise them up now you can't enjoy them because one is struck out on drug the other one is in jail the other one is still at home the devil is a liar they don't want you to eat the lip of your heart but i am here under the apostolic and prophetic mantle of my father that power that has vowed that you will not eat the work of your heart i release fire Amen. oh i release fire Amen. i pull it down Amen. i pull it down Amen. i pull it down Amen. Say my father, my father. Come and say my father, my father. That altar of my foundation that has vowed that I will not eat the work of my hands as I pray. Jesus! Da! 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 Da
open your mouth. Destroy the altar. Destroy the altar. Destroy. Destroy that altar. Destroy the altar. You altar of my foundation that has fallen. That I will not eat. The left of my this is war. This is war. This is war. watching online push the like button connect your faith connect your faith type your name your children your loved one type them now i decree over your life that altar that is crying against you that has vowed that you will only labor but you will not eat the fruit of your labor i command that altar catch fire 
fire. I command the altar, brother. I pull it down in your life. I pull it down in your life. I pull it down in your life. Somebody have an altar. Listen to me. Listen to me. At the root, at the root of every frustrated destiny, there is an altar. I am telling you, there's an altar. Can I tell you, the strength of witchcraft is on existing altars. You remember when Balaam came to place a curse on God's people? He could not prosper. Why? Because there was another altar that was speaking for them. The shout of the king is in their midst. Therefore, there is no enchantment. My witchcraft can work. If the enemy inside does not betray you, the enemy outside can't touch you. But when the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous I pray for you? That altar that frustrated your father, frustrated your grandfather, now that altar is after your life. I command that altar. Go down. Yeah. I beg you. I beg you. This next three days is critical. What you do within the next 72 hours is very critical. The Bible says they tie the mouth of the oxen so that he cannot eat his portion. He cannot eat. That's like you driving a car with no gas. But the enemy says, walk. Don't eat. You will cry out. There are powers keeping you back from eating. I want to eat. Someone say, I want to eat. I want to eat. Say, this year, I want to eat. Come on, say, this year, Lord, I want to eat. Put your foot on the ground. Say, Lord, this year, I want to eat. I want to eat. If they tie the mouth of the oxen, what else can they not tie? Father, every altar that has tied me down, altars of my father's house that has tied down my destiny, as I begin to pray, I pull you down. I pull you down. I pull you down. People of God, lift up your right hand. Say, my father, my father. As I begin to pray, that altar of my foundation that has tied down my destiny. I come here, you say, that altar of my foundation that has tied down my destiny. As I begin to pray, I pull you down. I pull you down. I pull you down. People of God, open your mouth. Pull it down. that altar of my foundation that has tied down my destiny that altar of my foundation that has tied down my destiny I pull you down I pull you down
people of God, you have the power. You have power. Pull it down. Pull it down. Pull it down. We are not negotiating. We are not negotiating. you if you will believe that i am sent by god to you then i'm here to tell you that god has given me authority over that altar that has terrorized your family for generation i command that altar wherever the altar is whether in india whether in trinidad whether in haiti whether in mexico wherever the altar is whether in cameroon in liberia in in Nigeria, in Ivory Coast, in Togo, I command the altar, God. I need your amen to be in agreement. I command the altar, God. 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 People of God, I lie not. That's why when Jesus Christ came, he said, I will build my church. The gate of hell will not prevail. I have taught you the gate of hell is not, an, is not a regular gate. It's, it's an altar. 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 Am I? 
you will cry out. Now, you can leave this oxen now to work three jobs. Eh? You can give it three jobs, this oxen. It will come home exhausted. You will find the oxen exhausted. Oh my God. But nothing to show. You will cry out. Every altar behind my frustration. Altars that want me to labor with nothing to show. Now, so you, you see what was fighting Peter, right? Luke 5 and 5. I have toyed all night. And I caught nothing. How do you catch nothing? Because there is an altar that has closed the river. Forbidding the fishes into your net. Lift your hands. Altars that has vowed that I will labor with nothing to show. As I begin to pray, I pull you down. Altars of my foundation that has vowed that I will labor Look at it. Look at it. If we don't pray this prayer, there are some under the sound of my voice who are on schedule according to Ecclesiastics chapter 5 and 16 to exit this world empty handed. They are on schedule. They are on schedule to exit empty handed. They will just live the same way they, the same they came. Look at it. You all read. I have seen a what? People are going to talk to me. A what? When they say severe thunderstorm, what does that tell you? Grievous. Severe weather. It means don't go out. There are evil. But Solomon said, this evil is a severe one. I have seen a severe evil. What kind of evil? There are people on schedule just exactly as he came. He will go that way. Born naked. Left naked. Nothing to show. Ah! I killed that altar. I destroyed that altar. I destroyed that altar. I destroyed that altar. Say my father, my father. As I begin to pray. That's altar of my father's house that wants me to labor with nothing to show in the name of Jesus. Destroy, destroy, open your mouth and pull it down. Destroy, destroy. Wherever you are, whether in Mexico, whether in Cameroon, whether in Haiti, whether in America, Trinidad or Tobago, whether in India, whether in Grenada, whether in Sudan, wherever the altar is. Who <laughs> 
people of God this is warfare this is warfare this is war this is warfare we are now in warfare we are now at war we are now at war fight for your family fight for your settlement fight for your children fight 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 for your settlement that devil is a liar he got la bada, 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 he got la bada. Sticky diggy 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 that wants you to labor yet nothing to show that altar that wants you to labor yet nothing to show I pull down that altar I command it to catch fire I command it to catch fire Oh, people of God, there needs to be an intercessor. We need an intercessor in your family. You need to stand up and say, Enough is enough. Enough is enough. You wicked daughter, enough is enough. You demonic altar, enough is enough. I am here to stop you. I am here to break you. I am here to pull you down. I am not here to negotiate. I am not here to ask questions. I am here to command. I am here to decree. I am here to declare. Go down. Go down. Bow down to me. Submit to me. stretch your hand i don't know where you are from i don't know your, your 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 foundation i don't know your country whether you are from mexico whether you are from india whether you are from trinidad whether you are from haiti whether you are from nigeria whether you are from ghana or kenya whether you are from zimbabwe or from zambia whether you are from liberia or cameroon or togo wherever you are from i command that altar behind your pain the altar behind your tears the altar behind your frustration i commanded god people of god i need your agreement i command it god i command it god i say god Pull you down! I pull you down! I pull you down! If you are watching online, type your name. Type your family name. Type your family name. That altar in your family house. I pull it down. Can I talk to you? The animal is grinding the corn. Please don't forget the animal.
Look at the animal. Grinding the corn. How much can the animal eat? It's called the portion of the animal. Say the portion. Every man in life has his portion. Every man. There is your portion. Somebody say my portion. The, the, the man, they call him prodigal son, but he's not prodigal. It is the translators are up. The Bible never called him prodigal son. He said, A son said, My father, give me the portion that pertains to me. The problem was how he spent it, not his, not his request. If his request was wrong, his father would never answer. Are you hearing me now? If the prayer was wrong, he said, you receive not because you ask a mess. You can never receive anything except God gives you. So when the prodigal, when the so-called prodigal son said, give me my portion. The Bible says the father gave it to him. Because every man has his portion. Look at it. Look at it. The Bible says in Ecclesiastics chapter 5 and 19. He said to every man that God has given riches. I am a to every man whom God has given what? How many man? How many man? Some man. Some man. Every man. Pull on someone say you have riches. Pull on someone say you have riches. Pull say you have riches. Say you are not broke. 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 You got riches. While you are trying to chew on that, say, neighbor, you don't just have riches, you got wealth. Yeah. How can a man whom God have given riches and wealth be behind on mortgage? How can a man whom God has given riches like this and wealth? Look at him about to be evicted. Can't park his car at his house because they're going to tow it. Look at him. He's swiping his card and doing side of the cross. Not knowing if it will bounce. I said, this is, a, this is evil. It's severe, it's severe evil. Hiya, mama. What's the problem? It's not enough to have riches. To have wealth, you need power. I am a man. Aye. You need power to eat. That is your that is that one that belongs to you. So now we see in the life of the donkey, his power to eat is taken from him. You will cry out, Father, as I begin to pray, power to eat. You will scream. You will. You cannot pray this power to eat. Because some of you now, you are chewing gum. I'm watching you as you are praying. You are chewing gum. Power to eat. I'm just laughing. How can a man, do they chew gum in Kovun? Do they chew gum in Kovun? Can you chew gum in the court of law? Why do we, why, why do we act like this? You will cry out. Power to eat my portion. Power to eat my portion. Fall on me. Fall on me. Power to eat my portion. Power to eat my portion. Fall on me. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. Power to eat my portion. Power to eat my portion. Power to eat my portion. You will shout it loud. Power to eat my portion. Seven times. Number one. Power to eat my portion. Number two. Power to eat my portion. Number three. Power to eat my portion. Number four. Power to eat my portion. Number five. Power to eat my portion. Number six. Power to eat my portion. Then number seven. Power to eat my portion. Follow me. Follow me. 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 Now. Open your mouth and fire prayer. 
animal the animal is harnessed to the grinding mill and the animal moves about in the cycle it grinds like this in the cycle it grinds like this seven to seven monday to sunday january to december year in year out look at him in the cycle Everything about his life revolves in a cycle. The Lord said to Moses, You have encompassed this cycle for a long time. I prophesy any altar that has kept you in a cycle, a cycle of pain, a cycle of sorrow, a cycle of luck, as you shout a loud amen, I bring you out. Say, come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Is that progress? Is this progress?
progress? That somebody is going in a cycle. Is that progress? Is that progress? In a cycle. You can continue in a cycle for years. You have not made any progress. There are people now. They are just getting about in a cycle. Lift your hands. Every altar that has kept me in a cycle. He said to Moses, you have been around this mountain too long. Going about. Bet day after bet day, no progress. But today, you are coming out. You are coming out. As you pray, you are coming out. You are delivered from that pattern. Say, my father, my father. As I begin to pray, that altar of my foundation, keeping me in a cycle. I can't hear you say that evil altar that has kept me in a cycle. As I begin to pray, break out. I break out. I break out. I break out. I break out. Open your mouth. Break out. That demonic altar keeping you in a cycle. That satanic altar keeping you in a cycle. Break out. Woman of God, break out. Woman of God, I am telling you to break out. Man of God, break out. Break out. Break out of that cycle. Break out. You demonic cycle. Every demonic cycle in your life, the reason of altars, every demonic cycle in your life, the reason of altars, I command you to break out, break out, break out. That never runs dry. Okay, Miri. Okay, Miri. Okay, Miri. That never runs dry. Okay, Miri. Break out! That devil is a liar. You must come out. You must come out. You must come out. You must come out. Okay, Miri. Okay. Every cycle of tears, of pain, of backwardness, of delay in your life, I break it now. That cycle of tears. That cycle of tears, cycle of disappointment, the cycle of disappointment, the cycle of wandering, 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 wandering in the wilderness, wandering, wandering. I command you, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Okay, Miri. Okay, Miri. Okay, Miri. That never runs dry. Eternity drop from you. 
Nation drop from you. This great river, it never runs dry. Eternity drop from you. Nation drop from you. Okay, Miri, it never runs dry. Ekara, somebody, there is deliverance. There is deliverance. The Lord is breaking you out. You have been a part of that cycle way too long. Akakaka. Oh Lord, bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Okay, Miri. Ayala. We are coming out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Okay, Miri. Okay, Miri. He never runs wrong. Every altar in your life that has put you in a perpetual cycle to go about year after year, day after day, month after month, I command you to come out. Come out. In the name of Jesus, people of God, stretch your hand, stretch your hand, stretch your hand, connect your faith to my faith, type your name, if you are watching online, type your name, type your children's name, type your name, type your name, I prophesy, anyone under the sound of my voice, is going through a pattern you are going through a cycle year after year same pattern month after month same pattern i command you in the name of jesus come out come out the right hand of god is power wherever you are hearing my voice let the hand of God pull you out 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 come out come out come out come out come out Except I called myself. Except I called myself. But if God called me, this next 72 hours, it will count significantly in your life. Because of the next 72 hours, your settlement is established this year. Your settlement is established this year. Your prosperity is released this year. In the name of Jesus. People of God, if you are watching online, push to like button and connect. Look at this. Look at this. We need to pray. The Bible says, in Ecclesiastics chapter 5 and 16 that there are people on schedule on schedule and if we don't do anything about it they will arrive on time they are on schedule to leave this world empty handed empty empty handed somebody say not me type your name say not me type your name say I reach Agahoa. I will not go through life empty handed Type your name. Say, I reach Agahoa. I will not go through life empty handed. Look at How can you spend five years in America? Ten years in America. Retire home empty handed. Lift your hands. No, no. I will not go to life empty handed. The preacher said, This is what? 
a severe evil. There are evil. On the scale of evil, the preacher says this one is severe. A man whom God has given riches and wealth to just walk out of life empty-handed. Sir, this is not an isolated scripture. That's what God said to Moses. He said, how can my people spend 430 years in Egypt? And if we don't do nothing about it, Pharaoh wants them to go empty-handed. I am mama. I will not go empty-handed. I am mama. I will not go empty-handed. <laughs> Say, I reach a gahowa. I will not go empty-handed. I can hear you say, I reach a gahowa. Oh, call your name. Call your name. Say, I reach a gahowa. I will not go empty-handed. Somebody cry out, Lord. 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 I can hear you say, Lord. Show me mercy. Let me not go through life. Empty-handed. Now lift your right hand and say, my father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my father. I can hear you say as I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. That altar, that altar of my foundation, my foundation that has vowed that, that I will go through life, life. empty-handed. Empty as I pray. As I pray. Da. 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 Open your mouth. Destroy that altar, that evil altar of your foundation that wants you to go through life empty handed. I destroy you. Pull it down. Pull it down. Pull it down. I will not go empty handed. I will not go empty handed. Water of my foundation that has found that I will go through life empty handed. Destroy you. <laughs> You altar that has foul that I will go through life empty handed. I pull you down. I pull you down. I pull you down. You demonic altar of my foundation that has foul. We go through life empty handed. I destroy you. I pull you down. I destroy you. I pull you down. I destroy you. I pull you down. I destroy you. I will not go empty handed. I will not go empty handed. I will not pass through life empty handed. I will not pass through life empty handed. I will not pass through life. Somebody. I did declare it. Ow. You will not be empty handed in life. You will not be empty handed in life. <laughs> What that day? You got a gun, 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 you got a gun,
not against flesh and blood. Sir, you listen to me. Under God, I tell you, this altar, you must fight it. You must fight. There is no two ways around it. There are no two ways. Because this altar is, de is determined. The way it made your ancestors go empty-handed is determined that even though you're in America, you will come back empty-handed. But listen to me. Lord, the Bible says, and Jacob was, he wrestled. Sir, you are going to put glove in hand. I wrestle you. You are that, that fought my father. I wrestle you tonight. I wrestle you tonight. People of God, I need you out of your seat. You are too gentle and calm. I wrestle you tonight. You are that, that frustrated my father. I wrestle you tonight. I defeat you. I take dominion. You are going to cry at father. Give me dominion. Dominion over the altars of my father's house. Give me dominion. Say, My father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray, every altar that is contending me, altars of my father's house that has vowed to make me empty. As I pray, I wrestle you. I take dominion. I wrestle you. I Hear you altar say altar on my father's house that has vowed to frustrate me altar that has vowed to frustrate me in the name of Jesus I wrestle you I take dominion I wrestle you I take dominion people of God contain open your mouth sitting stand I want to minister and pray for you in Ecclesiastics chapter 5 and verse 19 
He says to every man that God has given riches and wealth and power to eat of it. In the old King James, he says, and power to take his portion. Power. Someone say power. Power. To take his portion. Sir, when God created you, there was a portion allocated for you. For whom? But you need power. Because many of you now, your portion is in real estate. Oh, they are not here. There are others, their portion is in banking and finance. They are not here. There are others, their portion is in the IT industry. Hey. Because what I'm saying is passing over their head. There are some of you, your portion is in buying and selling. There are others, your portion is in oil and gas. There are others whose portion is in the beauty industry. Wherever your portion is in life, wherever your portion is in life, as you open your heart, as you open your heart, I command, receive your portion. Receive your portion. Receive your portion. Stretch your hand. Follow me now. Follow me now. The Bible says, as I prophesied, there was a noise. There was a noise. As I prophesy now, let there be a noise. As I prophesy, let there be a noise. It says, and there was a noise. And Paul began to join. As I prophesy, bones begin to join. There shall be a distribution. There shall be a movement. There shall be a settlement. I prophesy, wherever your portion is, whether in real estate, whether in oil and gas, banking and finance, I don't know where your portion is, but if you shout aloud, amen, receive your portion. Receive your passion. Receive your passion. Receive your passion. Such a hand. Such a hand. Father, there are ten persons here. They are passions in life. The passion that belongs to them for 2024. Lord, wherever they are, let it fall like fire. Let it fall. Let it fall. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Number one. Hey! here you are opening their doors the door of their portion the door of their portion the door of their portion lord as i count to three let their door for their portion in america their door of their portion in the land where they hail let their portion be open one two three ten follow me let my portion my portion of prosperity let it follow me my portion of riches my portion of wealth let it fall somebody say lord lord my portion of riches my portion of wealth i can hear you say lord my portion of riches my portion of wealth let it fall on me 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 open your mouth open your mouth open your mouth open your mouth take your portion take your portion Take your portion, your portion of riches, your portion of wealth. Take, 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 take,
Pasha, receive your Pasha, receive your Pasha, receive your Pasha, receive your Pasha, holy, 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 are you Lord? Holy, holy, holy. She was holy, holy, holy. Holy, are you Lord? You are holy. Holy, holy, holy. She was holy, holy, holy. I see a key. I see a key. And I'm like, Lord, what is this key? He said, I am distributing keys for my children to enter into their passion. I am distributing keys. People of God, shut your eyes, stretch your hand. Stretch your hand. I am distributing keys for my children to enter their passion. Lord, let it be distributed right now at the count of three. Receive your key. 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 Receive, receive. Take, take. Oh, look at that. Look, take, take, take. There is someone you have been going through a pattern of struggle. The Lord says your key is being given to enter your next. Take, take. Amma, take. Stretch your hand, lift it up, 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 lift it up. You know the devotion, you know the devotion. I got the hope, I got the hope. Now look at it. The fire for deliverance, the fire for deliverance. Wherever they have tied you, wherever your destiny has been tied, wherever your destiny has been tied. Whether in a coven or a shrine, whether in India, in Liberia, in Haiti, in Trinidad, in Grenada, in Liberia, in Cameroon, in Nigeria, in Kenya, wherever they tied you, in Ivory Coast, Equatorial Guinea, I don't know where you are from right now i take the sword of the spirit and i break that bondage lose them and let them go lose them and let them go lose that brother lose them lose that brother lose that sister lose that sister lose that sister come out Loser, loser, loser. Anyone under the sound of my voice, and they have touched your destiny. I command liberty. Be free now. Oh, can we read? Oh, can we read? Ring it for me. How can we read? That never runs dry. How can we read? How can we read? How can we read? Akabaha. Wherever your riches, your wealth, your riches, your wealth, your riches, 
your wealth, your riches, your wealth, wherever your riches and your wealth has been tied. I don't know where you hail. I don't know where they tied it, but I command liberty. 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 I release your wealth. I release your riches. You will not go through life empty handed. You will not go through life empty handed. You will not go through life empty handed. Any evil altar that wants you to go through life empty handed. I command that altar go down. Go down. them lose them fire 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 fall on me fire 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 fall on me like the day of Pentecost fire fall yeah yeah Holy Ghost, fire, fire, follow me. Holy Ghost, fire, fire, follow me. Hey, yeah, come on. Like the day of Pentecost, fire, follow me. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Like the day of Pentecost, fire, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, fire. There is deliverance. There is deliverance. Say, Holy Ghost, fire, fire for who yeah, like the day of Pentecost, fire for like the day, like the day. Stretch your hand. Stretch your hand. Stretch your hand. I am seeing a family. I am seeing a family. The Lord is telling me that everybody in this family are gifted. Gifted. I am seeing all of them as graduates. All of them are graduates. But no one is doing well. I pray for you. That altar. Sister in yellow jacket, come. Come. Adia Bareska. Sister, you. Yeah, with the glasses on top. Please come. Come. Amaradesha. Hila Mama Maria. Lift your hands. People of God, there is a distribution. I want to lay hands on every firstborn. I want to lay hands on you. Your glory will not be deferred. I speak blessings in your life. In Jesus name. Amen. Somebody say I take my portion. Oh come on write it. Type it seven times. I take my portion. Type it. I take my portion. I take my portion. Take my portion. Power to take my portion. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Listen, this is day one. Two more days. Are we together? What did I say? Two more days. Two more days. What I want you to do, please listen to me, is to program your heart. These next three days, be very, very, very intentional. Tomorrow, be on a fast. You are wasted upon the Lord. You can break your fast before you come so you can have energy to pray. Somewhere around before you come, break your fast before you come. So you can have strength to pray. 
But ladies and gentlemen, mark my words. These three days are going to be very vital for what God will do in your life this year. In Jesus' name. If you're watching online, please push the like button. Let's take a, a, a sacrifice very quickly. Take an offering in your hands. I've told you, listen, please, one house, one house, one house, please. One house. On the third day of this prayer, somebody say third day. This is day one. Day two, on the day three, which is Sunday, we are going to raise our altar of first fruit. Is that what I said? Is that what I said? Yes. Listen to me. If you really want to contend altars, if altar is really what you want to contend, you cannot just pray against altars with your mouth. At the end of your prayer, you must lift up another altar. He said to Gideon, throw down the altar of your father. How? He said, take the bullock of seven years. And he took an, a bullock to tear the existing altar. You must use an altar to break an altar. So on the third day, which is on Sunday, we are going to raise our altar of first fruit unto God to put a seal and then let's see what God will do this same year. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. All our out-of-state visitors, if you are here from, uh, you, you came from out-of-state, wave your hands. From out of, out, of, out of Houston. You came from out of Houston. Lift, wave, wave your hands. Wave your hands out of Houston. God bless you. You came from out of Houston. God bless you. I'm going to take time to pray with you tomorrow. The Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Please take a seed, a seed faith in your hand. Take a seed faith tomorrow. We are starting very early. Please be here on time. 7 o'clock on the dot. God bless you. Take a seat in your hand. Were you blessed today? Glory to God. Take a seat in your hand. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Take a seat in your hand. Take a seat. Take a seat. If you are watching online, use the information being shown to you. Lift up an altar of sacrifice to heaven. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for our giving. In the name of Jesus Christ. Good measure pressed down, shaking together. Let men restore to our bosom. If you want to swipe your card, we have ushers at the back that can swipe your card for you. If you are making a check, make it to Mega Fire Ministry. But listen to me. Thou shall not pray these prayers empty-handed. Don't do that. Don't do that. Take a seed and cast it. Say, my head is a good head. My life is a good one. Favor is on my side. Mercy is on my side. Grace is on my side. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I come in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every sickness in your body. I don't know what it's called, but there is a name higher than every other name. Another mention of that man. Every knee has got to bow. Every sickness has got to bow. Whether in the heaven or in the earth or under the earth, every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. I command sickness to come out. I command sickness to come out. I command barrenness come out. High blood pressure come out. Disease come out. I don't know what you're going through. There is power here today. It will set you free. It will deliver you. It will lose you. I don't know how long you have suffered. There is power here. It will set you free. It will lose you. I don't know who you are. But get ready. You are God. It's a part of two. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. It has not entered the heart of man. What God will do. It shall be good measure. It shall be pressed down. It shall be shaken together. It shall be running over. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. 
He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can pull you down. God is on your side. Power 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 on your side. Lift one hand, shot fire. Lift another hand, shot fire. Raise one leg, shot fire. Raise another leg, shot fire. Turn around, shot fire. Scatter yourself, all of fire. Yeah. Somebody say, come on, Holy Ghost. 